so 8% on your 100 rupees it will be 8 rupees will be your interest what is the formula for after tax interest divided by net proceeds into 1 minus tax 10% on 100 rupees how do you get 10 into 100 percent if you do 10 percent if you do it on 100 you will get 10 rupees hello everybody i'm your divya ma'am lecturing with yashram first grade college mysuru the temple of excellence today my dear student i extend a warm welcome to you all for the session two that is your cost of capital chapter so in this chapter we will be discussing on the problems that agenda for today's session concepts and problems so in the previous class we have discussed about the formulas of various sources of capital in today's class we'll be discussing regarding problems on debenture that is irredeemable debt so let us look into the problem so Let's read the question. A company issued 8% debentures of rupees 100 each. The company tax rate is 40%. Calculate the cost of debt. So we are solving which problem? We are calculating cost on debt. Cost of debt. We are calculating cost of debt. Which problem we are doing? Irredeemable debt. So what is the formula that we have discussed for irredeemable debt? So if it is before tax... It is cost of debt is equal to interest divided by net proceeds. So if it is after tax, what is the formula? After tax, it is interest divided by net proceeds into 1 minus t. So what is this t stands for? tax rate. So a company issued 8% debenture. So what is this 8%? 8% is the interest and what is the net proceeds? Net proceeds is rupees 100 and what is the company tax rate? It is 40%. Calculate the cost of debt before tax and after tax. If the debenture are issued at a par, issued at a premium 5% and issued at a discount of 5%. So as I have discussed, if the shares or if the debentures are issued at the face value, if it is 100 rupees, if the face value is 100 rupees and if it is issued on 100 rupees, then it is issued at par. If, it, if the face value is 100 rupees and if it is issued more than the 100 rupees, that is extra percentage, it is premium less than the face value, that is your discount. So all the three things we have to solve here. So first, let us solve issued at par. So let us write down what are given in the question. Given interest is given. So what is interest? 8% on 100 rupees. So that will be your interest will be 8. So 8% 8 on your 100 rupees it will be 8 rupees will be your interest. And what is the net proceeds? Net proceeds is 100. What is the corporate tax? Tax is 40%. If you convert that 40% into decimal, let's use the calculator and see 40% will be your 0.4. So this will be your 0.4 and now we are calculating the problem issued at a par. So before tax and after tax. So before tax formula, interest is known to us, net proceeds is known to us. Let's substitute all the values to the formula and check out what is cost of debt. What is interest? Interest is 8 rupees. What is net proceeds? It is 100. 8 divided by 100, it will be 0.08. So what is cost of debt before tax? It is 0.08. And after tax, we have interest. What is interest? 8 rupees. What is net proceeds? It is 100. What is tax? 
1 minus tax, tax is 0 0.4. So, 1 minus 0 0.4, it will be 0 0.6. 8 divided by 100 into 0 0.6, it will be around 0 0.6. 048. So, if you are converting this into the percentage, it will be 4.8 percent. So, let us check the answer. So, it is 0 0.8 and 0 0.048 issued at a par uh, and after tax issued at a par. Moving further, we have to calculate now issued at premium 5%. So, on what 5% will be issued? On this 100 rupees, 5% extra you are issuing the debenture. That is 5% premium. Issued at premium. So, what is the premium percentage? It is 5%. So, what will be your net proceeds? Net proceeds will be 100 into 5%. It will be 5. So, your net 100 plus 5, your net proceeds will be 105. So, rest of everything is same. So, let us substitute the formula. KD is equal to interest divided by net proceeds. What is the interest? What is the interest? 8 rupees is the interest and what is net proceeds? 105 that is 105 is your net proceeds. So, this is what? This is before tax. This formula is before tax. Let us use the calculator and see the answer. 8 divided by 105 is equal to 0 0.076 or 7.619 percent. So, if you are showing it in the percentage, you have to multiply with 100. If you are showing into the decimal, this will be the answer. Next, it is what? It is after tax. After tax, Cost of debt is equal to what is the formula? Interest divided by net proceeds and into 1 minus tax. 8 divided by 105 into 1 minus 0 0.4. So, if 1 minus 0 0.4 is done, it will be 0 0.6. So, 8 divided by 105. 8 divided by 105 into 0 0.6, it will be almost around 0 0.0456 will be the answer. If you want to convert it into a percentage, you have to convert into 0 0.0456 into 100. Then your answer will be around 4.57%. So, this is how you compute the problem issued at a premium. Now, we have to compute the problem on issued at discount. See, issued at discount. So, how much discount they have issued? That is your 5%. So, net proceeds will be what? 100 into 5 percent it will be 5 rupees and it will be 5 rupees and if you subtract that 5 rupees with your 100 then it will be 95. So, what is your net proceeds? Net proceeds is 95. So, issued at discount before tax and after tax. Before tax it is how much? 8 is the interest divided by net proceeds that is your 95 before tax. Let us see what is the answer. 8 divided by 95 it will be 0 0.0842. 0 0.0842 will be the answer. And let us see after tax. 
what is the formula for after tax interest divided by net proceeds into 1 minus tax so what is interest 8 rupees is the interest what is net proceeds 95 is the net proceeds into 1 minus 0 0.4 will be 0 0.6 if you divide by 8 divided by 95 into 0 0.6 it will be around 0 0.0505. So, this will be your answer after tax. So, this is how you calculate the cost of debt if it is issued at a par, if it is issued at a premium and if it is issued at a discount before tax and after tax. Moving further, we have one more problem, problem number two. A company issued, it is similar to the first problem, a company issued 10% debenture of rupees 100. So, what is this 10%? 10% is the interest. What is this rupees 100? It is net proceeds. The company tax rate is 30%. So, what is the tax rate? 30%. Calculate the cost of debt before as well as after tax. So, we have to compute before tax as well as after tax. If the debenture are issued at par premium of 10% and discount of 10%. So, this is what we have learnt in the previous slide that is in your problem number 1. So, let us do first condition that that is issued at par issued at par so what is the formula before tax and after tax so let's write down the given so what is given interest is given interest is how much 10 percent on 100 rupees so 10 percent on 100 rupees how do you get 10 into 100 percent if you do 10 percent if you do it on 100 you will get 10 rupees so what is the interest 10 rupees is the interest and what is the tax rate given net proceeds is 100 rupees and what is the tax rate given 0 that is your 30 percent so what is 30 percent it will be around 0.3 will be your tax rate and now with the help of this we have to compute the premium a par and at a discount that has been issued and what is the cost of debt. So, what is the formula? KD is equal to interest divided by net proceeds. What is the interest? 10 rupees is the interest. What is the net proceeds? Net proceeds is 100. So, if you compute this, it will be around 10 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.1. If you convert that into percentage, 0 0.1 into 100, you can convert that into percentage. After tax, what is after tax formula? KD is equal to interest divided by net proceeds 1 minus tax. What is interest? Interest is 10 rupees. What is net proceeds? It is 100 since we are issuing at par 1 minus tax. What is the tax rate? 0 0.3. So, 1 minus 0 0.3, how much it will be? It will be 0 0.7. So, 10 divided by 100 into 0 0.7, it will be around 0 0.07. So, what is the answer? What is cost of debt after tax? It is 0 0.07. 0 0.07, 0 0.1 which is issued at a par. And now we have to calculate premium that is 10%. How much it is issued? 10% premium. So, let us calculate net proceeds is issued on premium. How much the premium is issued? The premium is issued at 10%. So, net proceeds 100 into 10% it will be what? 10 rupees. So, what is your net proceeds? 100 plus 10 it will be 110. So, net proceeds will be 110. 
10. So let's calculate now B issued at premium. How many percent at 10 percent? So how much it is issued? 10 percent premium is issued. So it is issued at a premium of 10 percent. So let's calculate before tax and after tax. Before tax, what is the formula? Interest divided by net proceeds. So KD is equal to what is the interest? Interest is how much? Interest is 10 divided by what is the net proceeds? 110. So what will be your cost of debt? 10 divided by 110 it will be around 0 0.090. So it will be around 0 0.090. And next it is after tax. Cost of debt is equal to what's the formula? Interest divided by net proceeds into 1 minus tax. What is interest? 10 rupees is the interest. What is net proceeds? 110 is the net proceeds into 1 minus tax. What is the tax rate? Tax rate is how much? 0 0.3. So 0 0.3, 1 minus 0 0.3, it will be 0 0.7. 10 divided by 110 into 0 0.7, it will be how much? Cost of debt is equal to 0 0.0636. 0 0.0063. So, if you want to convert that into percentage, just multiply with 100. You will get the answer in percentage. Now, let's do the problem that is issued at discount. So, what is the discount rate? What is the discount rate? Discount rate is how much? 10%. Issued at discount 10%. So what will be your net proceeds? 100 into 10 divided by 100. So it will be 10 rupees again. Here what you have to do? You have to subtract with your amount. So 100 minus 10 it will be 90 rupees. Net proceeds will be 90 rupees. So before tax and after tax. Before tax, cost of debt is equal to what is interest? Interest is 10 and what is your net proceeds? It is 90 rupees. So 10 divided by 90 rupees, it will be around 0 0.111, 0 0.111 will be your before tax that is issued at a discount. So this will be the cost of debt before tax issued at discount. Next after tax, what's the formula? Interest divided by net proceeds 1 minus tax. What is interest? 10. What is net proceeds? It is 90. 1 minus tax rate. So your 10 divided by 90 into 0 0.7, it will be around 0 0.077 into 100. If you do, it will be around or 7.7 percent. So this is your after tax formula. So this is how you solve the problem for irredeemable debt. So moving further, so I'll be recalling how we have calculated the problem. So we are solving the problem based on irredeemable debt. So problem on debenture. So we are doing before tax and after tax using the formula issued at a par, issued at a premium and at a discount. So this is how we calculate. So I'll just move out of the screen. Kindly take the screenshot. Problem number one. Problem number two, before tax, after tax issued at par, before tax and after tax issued at a premium, before tax and after tax issued at discount. So that's it for today my dear students. Hope the problem were very easy and you people have learnt it. So in the next class we will be solving more problems on irredeemable debenture. Stay tuned, stay blessed, a smile is the biggest jewel you can wear. Keep smiling. Thank you.